point sticks out of here that's got weeds all over it and bluegill trigger them with that crankbait a little bit there we go there we go Ooh, yeah. hit my little old crankbait look at there <laughs> yes sir right on top of that weed bed right on top of the weed bed get over here shake that <laughs> Good thing you had plenty of hooks in you. Ooh, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You see how easy that, uh, that hook came out of the net? That's what's awesome about that net. Well, that's a good start of the morning on a little old 2.5 crankbait. As I mentioned, there's schools of bluegills suspended this time of year. And this morning they're up on top of stuff, but this is that, that natural bluegill color. Natural brim, I think it's called. And boy, it looks good. And it even looks better in the water. The KVD 2.5 crankbait is perfect for shallow water power fishing. I chose this model because I knew it would run at a depth directly over the weed patches and that its hunting action would trigger lethargic fish. 2.5. Well, that's start. All right, fish. I'll let you go. All right. Let's do that again. Put that down. Right on top of the weeds. Oh, I see a bass right there next to that Illinois pond weed. I'll keep that in mind. Let's catch another one on that crankbait while it's early. When you fish a lake for the first time, it's kind of best to cover water like this with a crankbait. Not only to get a feel for a bite, but uh, to scope things out, look where the thicker weed beds are, a little bluegill darting on a trigger strike. There he is. There he is. Ooh, yeah. Another decent fish. They're up. They're biting that crankbait. They are biting that crankbait. Look at that. Oh, I just got one little hook into him. Come to the rescue, net. Come to the rescue. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ah, uh, a good average size fish. Get a good grip on them. I got one hook in them. There. Let's join Kim as he descends to inspect the weed beds and validate today's pattern. Without question, today's Indian summer pattern begins with a bass's food. And not only where, but also how they're positioned in the water column. Taking advantage of the warm, calm conditions, the schools of bluegills were suspended over the grass near the water's surface, where the sunlight penetration promotes plankton production. Basically chains of predator-prey relationships, the young bluegill will assemble and feed on the plankton and the bass then relate to the vegetation in the same fashion and feed on the bluegill. Both largemouth bass and bluegill are subspecies of the sunfish family. They evolve together and reside together. As bass fishermen, it's wise to identify the bluegill position in the water column and present your lures accordingly. I'm calling a bass. He's right in there with the cabbage. Right 
For the most part, these bass are suspended over and around the patches of grass, much in the same manner as the bluegills. I did, however, see a few good ones a little shallower parked up on the flat, but when startled, drew back and suspended in the taller vegetation. And when I ventured off the deeper edge of the grass bed, I encountered a thermocline that appeared to be void of fish. Yeah, I feel my temperature change. It is going to be a hot one. And if it stays as calm as it is, it's going to be a tough one, too. <laughs> see, I'm coming up the edge of this point. You can see the milfoil. And then it stops, and then you have a gradual flat. It's been that inside edge that's been the most productive than the deep. patch of grass like this and the bluegills are all over it. And you come to the right one and there's a bass up there too. Well this is my most confident way, especially to catch a big fish, so I'm just gonna oh there's a fish right there, a good one too. Right where you're supposed to be and I spooked him away I think. Oh man, no, he's down there still. When I can see them, they can see me a lot better. There it is. Yeah, it's a little better. That one's a little better. Ah. Come on over to the net. I was gonna say, you don't even know he's caught yet. He's going, what just happened? That's... A good one out of the center of that stuff. Looked him good in two, two ways. But yeah, look at that. A little chunkier than I've been catching. Absolutely. This, this is the dog days of fall. <laughs> Not summer. It's fall and it is going to be in the low 90s in Michigan. But that is a good fish. They're lethargic, there's no doubt about it, but if I can surprise them, if they're, if they're in the edge of that mill foil and I don't spook them with the jig, they'll bite it. Fantastic, nice fish. We hope you're learning from the one-of-a-kind underwater viewpoint of Hook and Look. 